welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope everyone had a wonderful week and a wonderful Easter, spring break, holiday. Okay, so you guys, I certainly did. Let's get right into your reading. Also, if you've noticed, I do have a new deck. Um, it's an eight ball game deck, magic eight ball game deck. That was uh, the trailer before the video started. Um, I'll be posting that here to my channel if you guys want to check that out. I'll go over to my website, moonpytarot.com. Um, I have my former deck. I have two decks up there that I've created if you're interested. All right, you guys, let's get into this reading. This is a reading for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And personal reading links are also on my website underneath also the video moonpytarot.com just go there everything you need is right there okay oh we have a couple of jumpers interesting we have camera i actually saw this card when i was shuffling um earlier before i started your videos okay or your reading i should say reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the past making memories okay Either you work with a camera, you might be a photographer, or you're posting pictures, or someone has a camera taking pictures of you, um, or someone's looking at your pictures, reminiscing, holding on to past memories, learning from the past, or trying to make new memories here. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, girl talk. Okay, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So maybe you're taking pictures with friends coming up in the month of May, spending some time. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Okay, ooh, I like you. Oh, Virgo, somebody sees your picture. Um, and is asking maybe some friends about you and um, or is, and so, so if you have some some girlfriends they're telling you I feel like or there's some girls I feel like somebody's like trying to set you up with someone maybe or trying to help you if you're single and you know trying to you know move on um, have uh, love in your life maybe you're dating romance starting to bloom some flirting or someone coming in wants to date you or maybe you have some friends who tell you there's someone who's interested in you um, or they have somebody for you something could be something along those lines okay let's see what's going on with that here i like the way this reading is going all right let me see here um, tell me more about what's going on with this situation. I feel like somebody's looking at your pictures, um, or showing your, okay, there you go. Page of swords, spying, somebody's spying on you, someone's peeking at you, somebody's interested in you. Okay, this could be anybody really. It doesn't have to be, for some it could be like some friends telling you about someone who's interested in you, for others. Um, you could just be moving on with your life and um, I feel some of you are moving on with your life and you know living in the moment having some fun taking pictures or you will be okay in May um, maybe putting yourself out there if you have social media um, putting the energy out there just sharing enjoying and somebody's got an interest in you here Okay, Page of Swords, so yep, there's definitely somebody very curious about you, um, or will be, in the month of May. Let me see what else is going on here. This reading, oh, it sounds like so much fun. Fantasizing about you, Seven of Cups. Okay, let's see, somebody's dreaming of you. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight. Little Selena, maybe somebody looks like Selena. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, this person has children. Um, they may have children. Um, some of you might have someone who pays you child support who's got an interest in you, or is, uh, maybe it's an ex that you have children with. Okay, funny, just when I was saying that, you have the six of cups so this could be a past person 
as well. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is someone you have children with, okay? Um, there is also an energy here for others where there is somebody thinking about past memories. Um, so maybe you, for some, you may know this person already. They could be from your past, like your deep past. They could be from your childhood as well. Maybe you grew up together or um, I'm hearing somebody saying, remember when your dad used to drive us to school or um, would give us money to go get ice cream? I just heard that. That is so funny. Um, for some of you, I mean, that may not resonate for everybody, but I'm just, just, just a strange message that just came through here. Um, there's also an energy of like reciprocity, somebody wanting to give and to share and to help you with some type of maybe financial situation. Not that you're a charity case or anything, but um, I feel like somebody maybe wants to just help out, help out. Maybe the, the, for some there's could be like, um, if you have children, doesn't matter what age and this person does um, kids coming together for some reason and then you guys meeting us it's like a setup something like that okay um, but there's a couple of different storylines here but let me just try to stick with um, for most of you this is a past thing okay that all right hmm I can definitely tell you whether it's somebody reconciliation coming in with someone that you had a kid with or children with or that pays money or child support. I, the world here is like there's a new chapter definitely starting here, whatever your situation is. There's someone here who's like just, I feel like they want to date you. Okay. They're very interested. Here's two of cups at the bottom. Okay. So there's definitely romance starting here. Uh, to people possibly meeting, having drinks, going um, out for coffee, connecting with one or, with one another, with one or, um, and meeting up. Show me this, the world. What is this world energy here? Wow, and the wheel of the year. I am telling you, there's a turning point happening here. Okay, big change. A brand new beginning. Com you've completed some kind of goal or lesson. Um, and then there's like a brand new start here. Things are, th May is definitely going to be a time where things are gonna start turning in your favor and, and, and with whoever else this person is. There's big changes on the way. Show me, I wanna get more clarification on the wheel, the, the wheel of fortune here. Um, I feel like this, there's a gamble. Somebody's taking a gamble, taking some kind of a risk. Um, let me see. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Wow. Um, there's definitely an energy of somebody feeling left out in the cold here. Bankrupt. Definitely bankrupt. And things are starting to change. So, uh, poverty mindset as well, or feeling isolated and lost. You know, there's definitely a card of exchange and change, and I feel there's somebody here who's quite nostalgic about you and wants to have some kind of a reunion with you. This feels like somebody you knew before. I don't, I don't know specifically how long ago, um, but it, you know, it really just depends. We do have children here, but reminiscing means that this is somebody. Um, from your past, okay? Um, I do feel like you're gonna get communication. Um, it's going to be more along the lines of in inquiring about you, asking about you, somebody asking questions, um, trying to get some information on you or having you answer some things, um, okay? Oh. This is in your position here. You have the nine of wands and you have the three of swords, Virgo. So it feels like you're um, protecting your heart. You'll be protecting your heart, guarding your heart like a, like a lion here. Maybe there was a heartbreak or something. 
um, or you're just trying to keep yourself from getting hurt again or having any kind of argument. Do you have some, I don't see fear here with you yet, but something happened to you where your heart is deeply broken and you're really in, like defending it. You're not, I don't see you rushing to let anybody in just yet. Okay. <laughs> Four of Wands, of course, because you're not taking any slackers into your life. That's what I feel like is going on here. You're really guarding your heart. You have the Four of Wands, and I feel like your energy here is, you know, you want a structured relationship. You want foundation. You want something good, celebratory, something worth. Here's that Two of Cups again. Something worth um, building upon because the four is always about structure and foundation, uh, stable situations and planning. You're very, I see you being very protective of your heart, but at the same time, I do feel like you're going to be enjoying your life and spending time with some friends or cultivating past relationships with friends or cultivating new ones, okay? Um, and I see that somebody is watching you and finds this very attractive. There's some flirting here. You, I, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody's going to be flirting with you, but also inquiring, asking questions, what you're doing, who you're with, where you're going, what do you do, what do you like, like a lot of inquisitive um, inquiring minds want to know, as it used to say, as I used to say. Let me see what's going on here. Hmm. Okay. So you have judgment here. So this is, you know, clarity. Final decision. You're making. I feel like you're you're really making. You either you're going to be making a final decision about your your love life. I feel like you're getting clarity. Um, there's definitely a wake-up call energy happening here. I feel like you come to realize really your life's purpose and what it is that you want or what you're looking forward to or what's, you know, coming down the line. You know, you're really, I feel like you're awakened. You're, you're totally awakened here about what you want like it's it really is just about you just want stability and you're becoming more stable yourself and I feel like you're not going to be you don't want to be a pillar for somebody's instability right you're done with that you are just kind of like releasing and just letting people do what they got to do be who they got to be and you are just grounding yourself, which is really beautiful. You know, you're really digging your feet in and not getting yourself in a position of letting anyone knock you off guard. You're just really overprotective of your heart in May, okay? And um, nothing wrong with that. If that's, I feel like you should always be protective of your heart. You know, um, it's, it's precious and fragile. So, of course, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, I see you being very assertive and firm with your decision that, that you're coming to in the month of May. Let me see. Yep, and it's all about the healing. Here you've got the star. It's all about the healing. It's all about, you know, renewing your soul and um, your health. You know, healing is uh, mental, physical, emotional. Um, and really, like, I see you in this place where you're just saying to yourself, you know, you're not, I feel like you're not going to dim your light so that others or someone else can shine. I feel like it's your turn and, and you're aware of that and you know that and you're putting all of your nourish, it's nourishment. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up nourishment, um, something to do with like feeding the soul. You know, you've got inner clarity. These are two clarity cards here. So you've got a lot of clarity about what you want out of your life here. And you're praying and, and you're ready for a miracle. And I feel like they're going to come to you. You're getting your faith back. 
Yeah, and you're excited and enthused about your life in May. A lot of flirting on your end. A lot of um, enthusiasm. Ready to, ready to go out there and play. Ready to have a good time. Let's take a look here. Um, I see you doing a lot of maybe being smitten, not just with yourself, um, but getting excited about falling in love again. Okay. And I don't know what it is, but you're exuding some type of pheromone. Um, you're just looking very attractive. You're living your best life. And that's looking really good to somebody here who's very attracted to you. Show me. All right. Let's look at the judgment card here. Okay. Talk about clarity and exposure. You're definitely having an awakening and coming out into the sun here being in the sun look the sun you got strength here so you're definitely gaining your confidence again i feel like you are coming to terms and realizing that you you can be successful in your life there's a the sun is very healing um I, it's just like joy i just feel like a lot of joy um and i feel like it's because you're protecting your heart that you're finding your joy and your peace again. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like your heart was out in the open and it was raw and um, taking a lot of beatings. And now you're really caring for um, yourself, you know, healing your heart, not letting anyone, uh, third parties or arguments, or maybe there was a divorce or a separation or a sense of loss. It could even have been some surgery or something that you're really taking um, better care of yourself on all levels. Show me the sun. Okay, look at this, the Ace of Wands again, um, feeling inspired. You're getting your inspiration back here, Virgo. I love this reading. This is like the best reading for me. I love this. Oh, wow. I was asking for clarity on the star. And you have the four, I'm sorry, the five of wands and the ace of cups. So the healing energy is coming in that, you know, you're fighting for love. Okay. Um, you want a new beginning in love. You're, I feel like... I feel like you're not going to let anything get in the way of your new, um, of the blessings that come into you or come to you because I do see love is coming here and I feel like, um, you're not going to allow any obstacle to stop that from happening. You know what I mean? Like any self-sabotage behavior or anyone else's behavior. I feel your energy is really strong. You have a very positive mindset in May and that is very attractive. I feel like you're, you're attracting uh, someone in particular. Um, we can look and see who it might be. But for some of you, this could be somebody new. Like I said, they may have children and it could be um, a reconciliation situation, someone from your past. For some of you, this could be both because like I said, you know, you're moving on and spending time with your friends. It doesn't have to be girls, but you're spending time with your friends. Maybe if you have girl children, spending time with them, really li living in the moment and having fun. That is what is making you not just attractive to um, people from your past, but people in your present and, and it will draw people towards you in your future, which is a beautiful energy, Virgo. And I feel like it's time because you've had some rough readings. You have, you've had some tough readings. Let me see. Let's get some romance angels, see what the messages are here. And I'm going to show you my new deck um, as I do this reading here. But if you, when you see it, if you're interested in it, like I said, there's um, just go to my website, moonpytarot.com. The link is below. If you want to purchase my um, my decks, I'll be creating more as time goes by. Um, just so you know, Moon Pie Tarot is the name of my company. 
um, in case you're just like, who the heck's that? I'm also um, Moon Pie here on YouTube, but I haven't been on that channel for a while. I'm just so busy with other things. All right, Romance Angels messages. Also, please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't joined my channel yet. Um, please do. Okay. <clears throat> Freeing yourself. Wow. Taking back control of your life, Virgo. You're in a really, really good place. I absolutely love this. It's like, I kind of feel like your energy now at this point, or at least going into May, is like, you know, it is what it is. What can I do? I got to live my life. I got to be happy. No matter what other people say or other people do, I do, you know, how much time are we here for on this planet? And with so much going on, I feel like your energy here is like, let me just make the best of as much as I can. And I love this. I love this. So you're definitely freeing yourself out of some type of cage you might have felt you were locked in. You know, your heart, you're definitely protecting it. But I feel like you're not, it's not so, it's more like guarding it. Like anybody that comes into your life, you're not giving your heart as freely to people um, because you've been hurt in the past. So you've definitely learned some lessons, okay? Um, but I do know that for you, Virgo, I see that when somebody does come in and that, that love, that, that joy and that happiness about somebody showing themselves to want to be with you and having that new beginning is you won't, you'll be you won't be putting up obstacles to that. So it's kind of like when somebody comes in here and things are feeling good and, and you know it's right. I don't. So in other words, I don't feel like you're going to be so overprotecting your heart that even when love comes in, you're gonna say, like you're gonna push it away. I feel like you're just going to be selective and careful now than maybe you were before. And even if this is someone from your past coming back, I feel like the same energy here. Okay, you've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate and you have children again. Your love life is being affected by children. So as I said, for some of you, there are children involved in this situation. Yours, the other person's, or it's a past. You knew someone from your childhood who's coming back in. This could just also be um, two people that do fall in love and the energy feels like when you were a child, you know, and it was playful and it's fun and it's enjoyable. You know, it's like that enthusiasm I feel coming on your end here, coming from you, that excitement of, you know, new love. There we go interesting he doesn't have a feather in his hat but he does have like a ribbon um and that's passion and joy and excitement okay fantastic all right here's my new deck i'm gonna ask a couple of questions this is the box that comes in it's called the it's a magic eight ball ask me anything deck so if you're interested in this definitely go check it out all right let's see Let's ask a couple of questions for Virgo. Is Virgo going to be having a brand new love start in the month of May or sooner? It's sketch. Okay. So basically, um, it's, it's not, they're not saying for sure that it's going to come in, but there's definitely an energy of you reaching out or reaching a place where you're freeing yourself let me see i feel like you're transitioning a lot but you are having this awakening here one more question let me see here all right is this is this a past person that virgo once knew indications say yes so I feel like <laughs> what I was saying, it's definitely, all right, and here's one more message. Trust your gut, it's right, okay? So this reading is resonating in a particular way. Trust your gut, definitely go check out this deck if you have any interest 
It's cool. It could be for fun. You can give it to like your girls. Like when we were kids, we had the Magic 8 Ball. I think they still have it. Um, a fun game. All right, let me see what other messages there are here for you from my other deck. Virgo. What other messages for Virgo for the month of May? What else does Virgo need to know? What should they know? Okay, emotional wish is being granted here, Virgo. Wow. So that's a nine of cups energy. So this is wishes coming true. Abundance, good health is coming to you as well. Healing from, you know, any kind of health issues you may have had. Good health, your health is getting better in May. Maybe you're eating better. You are uh, changing up medicines. Um, you are getting the right doses, taking different vitamins, um, maybe exercising more, just anything that, in, you know, and also um, good mental health as well. Good, good spiritual health, good, like everything is blooming here for you. Mature, dynamic, fiery male. So, all right, spirit is saying there is a king of wands showing up here. Um, so if you are interested in uh, a, a king of wands, that would be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, this could also just be your energy, that you're just in this bold leadership, powerful, courageous, charming position coming into May. Very dynamic, becoming very dynamic, maturing. Let me see what else is here. Okay, wow, something has a hold of you, but you're breaking the chains, taking things one day, day at a time, realizing that healing doesn't happen overnight. You're facing your fears, Virgo. You're praying for guidance and asking to be lifted out of something, and that is what's happening here. As I was saying before, you're getting your faith back. Um, even though it may have been a time of deep struggle, remember that you're not alone. I see you really transforming. I'm just seeing like a cocoon and a butterfly coming out. Beautiful, beautiful wings and colors and, and just really blossoming. Let me see what else is here. All right, you've got the courage, you can do this. Um, this is the strength card. You're a winner, Virgo. You're a winner. You're getting some confidence back here. And this is fully attracting somebody to you or some people. People are talking about you, that's for sure. People are going to be talking about you in the month of May. I don't know what you're going to be doing, but you might be peacocking a little bit. Maybe you're already starting to do that. Um, just kind of showing off your stuff, showing off your goods, your good stuff confidence and being proud of yourself let me see show us another card okay still undecided yeah so you're definitely protecting your heart and you know what Virgo you do what you have to do I, I, I support you if that's what you're trying to do um, to keep yourself from getting hurt because you know heartbreak is painful there's no doubt about it nobody wants to go through a heartbreak and sometimes it can't be avoided. I mean, with love comes great risk, you know? And you're definitely, I feel like you're, you're baby stepping back into your life in a lot of ways. And also with somebody, um, or will be in May with someone that comes in here. Let's see. Messages, love messages for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. I lost myself for a little while. So Virgo, I definitely feel like you you definitely went through something. Um, you definitely, I feel like you, you felt lost for some, for a period of time. Not sure which way to go. Not even sure who you were, right? Not losing yourself, your, your identity, your, your purpose. This is all coming back to you here. You also have okay i'm so attracted to you okay so you know 
Virgo, it's strange. I just feel like you're becoming more attracted to yourself. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like falling in love with yourself. But there's also an energy here of um, uh, somebody else feeling very attracted to you as well, like so attracted to you. Um, maybe this person had lost themselves for a little while too. They weren't sure who they were, what direction they were going somebody else may be having like some kind of wake-up call in their life also and let's see what else is coming up here for you okay play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other so like i was saying girl talk out with your friends having a good time having fun definitely um taking a break from working so much and getting yourself out there and playing playing hard though like having hardcore fun having those belly laughs it's a beautiful energy oh, children again now that's the third time children are are important to this partnership children are playing a role here in this reading and i don't know to what degree because i don't know all of your situations but somehow some way there's children to be considered in a situation okay let's see it could have something to do about having children as well or well depending on your age you know most of my um subscribers are in their 40s and up but I'm sure I do get some people who are still in childbearing age. So that could be for you. Could be grandchildren, play a role. Okay. So also have finances. There's financial challenges could be affecting this connection in some way as well. Okay. Um, maybe somebody's out of a job or is just getting back on their feet financially, which I feel like it might be the other person because there's like um, um, a bankruptcy I was seeing here. Somebody running out of money and is, I feel, coming back into money. And now, um, I don't know how this is going to resonate for you, but somebody who was broke now has money and is able to come forward because, of, because they can afford to now or they can afford to give you money for something boundaries okay firm boundaries are needed now so i do feel virgo like you are you know as i was saying before you're guarding your heart and i feel like you're still kind of in that energy here you're being very firm i don't feel like you're being cruel i don't see you being cruel at all i just see you being in self-protective mode all right if this is a past person what are the messages from a past person Okay, we will be together again. Okay, so this past person feels quite confident that um, you and them will be together. Um, they haven't let go of the idea of that um, because they love you. Okay, somebody loves you. Okay, and listen, I'm not talking about if you were with someone who was extremely abusive, that's, this is not your message, okay? Because even if they do love you, if they were abusive, um, unless they've had some like serious psychological counseling of some sort, um, that is just take that off the table, okay? I don't think I should have to tell you that, but if you're not sure, and you know when you know, and if you don't know, it's because you're not paying attention. Um, there are obstacles in the way of this connection. Um, now this card says unhealed wounds block forward movement um but i feel like for this person it, it, it may be that but it could also be um there's other obstacles in the way that need to be sorted out for this this relationship to move forward okay past relationship because that's what we're asking okay what else the hidden truth they met they know they messed everything up and they couldn't let you get close to them Okay, so there might have been some issue with this person where um, there was a fear of um, either a fear of being judged or, a f and since we were talking about um, financial um, issues, there might have been something. Um, so I'm not trying to gender type here. Um, 
I do, but I just heard a strange message that said, I pretended that I was working when I wasn't. I didn't want you to know that um, I was poor or that I couldn't afford to pay my bills. I was embarrassed by that. That's what I'm just hearing. Okay. That's what I'm just hearing. Um, whatever gender, it really doesn't matter. I'm just hearing that message. Okay. All right, now they're just giving me unavailable. This person was unable to give you all you deserve. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that might have been something that played out in the past with somebody. What else? This, but this person still thinks about you. They still, they stay awake. They, sometimes they stay awake. They don't want to go to sleep um, because they can control their, their daydreams and their obsessions and their thoughts about you when they go to sleep. Um, I'm just hearing when I go to sleep, I'm afraid I'll miss you. So I purposely stay awake so I can think about you. I mean, it's romantic as F. Um, what the heck do I want? Let me see. This reading has been uh, very easy. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pick out what the their Chinese sign is who this Chinese sign person is coming in for you. Whose Chinese sign is showing up here in this reading for Virgo? Okay, year of the horse. I'm gonna write dates on these so you guys know. Okay, someone's a tiger. Someone is a dog. Someone is a pig, someone is a rat, someone is a snake, you rat snake. Okay, we have tiger twice, snake twice, someone's a rabbit, and someone is a goat. Okay, so it's either your Chinese sign or the other person, or both of you, okay? And for some of you, I might encourage you to write down the Chinese sign. Um, um, you know, certain, um, I think I'll do that in my podcast the next time. Certain, there are certain Chinese signs who are compatible. Like, for instance, I'm a rooster. I'm compatible with the ox, the snake, and I think the dragon. Um... So, you know, whatever your Chinese sign is, there's a few that you would be most compatible with. And I 100% wholeheartedly believe in the Chinese signs. I feel like they, they just complete the whole picture. And if I could start a dating app, I would, I would blend people based on their astrological sign and their Chinese sign. Because I feel like they, they, those would be very successful relationships. <laughs> the ones that are meant to be. All right. Let's see what signs we have here as far as astrological signs. Oh, you guys also got some new dice. I think these are called role-playing dice. I found them in the store. Um, like, I, I legit found them in, like, a regular store. And um, I thought, I'm going to try these for you guys for numbers. They're role-playing number dice. I don't know if they use what kind of games. It said something like, it just said role-playing dice. Okay. Give me a sec. I hope you're all doing well. Hi, everyone in the chat. Okay. Okay. Let's see what astrological signs we're looking at here for the Virgos. And I am going to put, sorry for all the loud noise, put my mat down here. Okay. Astrological signs for Virgos. Who's coming in for Virgo? What sign? All right. So we have another Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini, and a Libra. Okay. And go again. And I tend to go three times. What other signs coming in for Virgo? Okay. Capricorn, Leo, uh, 
Cancer and Libra again. Okay, and if one sign shows up three times, that's the dominant sign. Okay, Gemini again, Capricorn again, Aries and Aquarius. Okay, now that could be your person or it could be um, somebody new. All right, let's see what dates, what birth dates, numbers here. Oh my goodness, somebody was born in the year 2000. Okay, so. Four twenty one, April twenty first. Isn't that too that's as, as I'm recording, that's yesterday. Okay. That was yesterday. So something significant on April twenty first must have happened. Okay. Somebody is fifty three, somebody's twenty seven, somebody was born in nineteen seventy eight. Um something significant happened in two thousand and eighteen. Okay. Um, I'm hearing the band, uh, 311. Somebody likes the band, 311. Um, okay. So something happened in 1987 that was pivotal. Okay. Uh, somebody was born in 1972. Okay. Um, area code 312 they're giving me. Let me see what else they're trying to say here. Birth dates for August and September, Virgos. Okay, we have the August 25th, the 23rd, the 26th, the 28th. Um, okay. Somebody was born May 20th. Somebody's birthday, May 20th. Um, I'm getting that 312 again. Somebody is 51. Okay. They're also giving me, okay, now they're saying between the year 2010 through 2018, significant time period. Um, okay, somebody here is 30. Okay, September 6th, the September 2nd, um, September 18th, um, September 11th, and the 5th, did I say September 5th? And then we're going to give one more roll here. If I'm calling out anything that resonates, please let me know in the chat or in your co in the comments. Okay. 1984. Hello. I'm just getting 1984. Okay. Somebody's address is 1010. <laughs> okay. The numbers one three four. Do you remember one three four? It spells out I love you. Um, it spells out I think I L Y. Is it something on the phone? Something that was done a long time ago. I don't think people do it anymore. But one three four is code for I love you. So I don't know if somebody did that. Um, nine eleven, obviously, they're telling me. Or nine one one. Nine one one emergency. I always find that so ironic that 9-11 was on 9-1-1. 9-1-1. I, I don't know. Whatever. My conspiratorial mind is going. Um, okay. So I'm getting the numbers. It's either 602 or 206. Okay. And somebody is 44. Um, okay, they're saying f it's either 59 or 95. I can't be sh sure exactly what's going on there. And then they're saying the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th. 
Okay. And then they're giving me the last four digits of somebody's telephone number. 2080. Oh, now they want to give me more phone numbers. Okay. Last four digits. 4628. Okay, that could go however you want to put it. Like it's those numbers in the last four. Um, if you're if you have a U.S. telephone number, um, did I say somebody's fifty-four? Um, somebody's also forty-five. Yeah, I think it's, did I say forty-four or forty-five? It's coming up real real fast here. Nine one zero. Then I heard nine zero two one zero. Nine zero two one zero. Okay, somebody's birthday is also September 19th, I just got. All right, let me see what a couple of, oh, we also have eight. Somebody's birthday is on the 8th or, uh, okay, so they're telling me 1982, 1987, and area code 810, and I'm also getting somebody uh, a birthday December 8th. Okay. Let me get a couple of charms here for you guys. Oh, okay. What the heck is this? Huh, okay. Um, they're just giving me Rome, Italy. They're telling me Rome, Italy, or some type of... Um... All right, I'm gonna show it to you. It's like... A very important building and I don't know if this is a building let me see if I can get this to focus one second one one second sometimes I have to block out the rest okay you see that building uh, it's like a cathedral or a citadel some kind of building it, it could be a very important like a state building or oh maybe it's something in ukraine it's something very important building um and then the first they're telling me washington um it could be washington dc um it could be a museum um going to a museum or um maybe a church i don't know what kind of church would that be or a mosque or something And, oh, and I just heard Colosseum. Okay, so we also have the, a mask here. This is like a masquerade. Um, and it's interesting because the mask fell, so I feel like there's a mask coming off. Somebody's removing the mask, Is they're just telling me, or it's time to remove the mask, or no more masking. Just be who you are. No more acting. No more pretending. Just be who you are. Okay. And now we have a horse. Wow. I did say you're the horse, too. I have a horse head. Horse head. Okay. And somebody's painting. Somebody here must like to paint horses. That's what they just said. Somebody paints horses. I'm not going to dwell too much on the horse. Okay, and we have a squid. I'm gonna show it. I like to try to show these to you guys so you can see, you know, what maybe it looks like or if it gives you any kind of a message. You got a horse head here. Of course you can't see it. You see the horse head? And a squid. I don't know if this is the front or I'll just show it to you anyway. Oh Can't really see him. Sorry about that. Yeah, so we have a squid here. Okay, and it kind of looks like a, a very phallic symbol, this squid. <laughs> I'm giggling like I'm like 13. I'm going to show you. Yeah, I'm the queen of um, focusing. So sorry to waste your time with that, but yeah, there there is a squid. 
if you know what I mean. Okay? With tentacles. I don't know. I'm not sure. If you like squid or somebody eats seafood, maybe there's a seafood date coming. Um, or someone lives by the sea or is out in a boat or somebody is just shopping for squid, maybe in a seafood place gonna, or eating squid or some tentacles or something like that. Or somebody wants to just get their tentacles and their hands all over you, Virgo. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I'm going to leave your message there. That was a whole heck of a lot of fun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They just said, give Virgo some moonology messages here. Okay. Let's see what your moonology message is. I've never been called to just do that. That's crazy. That was just screaming out to me. And I think we just went through the full moon of Libra. Is that right? The pink moon? All right. Let's see what your moon message is here for you, Virgo. I hear my grandson. He's like, he likes to make loud noises. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Okay, waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum here, Virgo. Things are going to start changing big time. Like I was saying, um, you know, energy, it takes energy to make energy, right? So when you get moving, Virgo, that's when the energy starts actually moving, okay? The less you move, the less energy you have. It's not the other way around. Energy is created by energy. So once you start moving the energy, then the energy starts moving you, right? Energy will start gaining momentum, but it's mostly because you're moving. If you're just waiting for the energy to come, it won't, unless a lightning bolt comes and hits you. But most likely, that's not gonna be, it's not gonna happen that way. You have to get going to get going okay so the momentum will definitely start picking up and as i said i do see in the month of may you're starting to pick up okay mutable moon nothing is yet set in stone that's right because it's still transitioning it's still gaining momentum okay so it's it's not um you're not in the vortex yet you're you're getting there you're getting up and you're doing it and once you get doing it, then it just will become this vacuum. Things will get set in stone and then you'll be off. And all the things that you are hoping or are looking towards or trying to manifest in your life start coming to you because the energy is moving you towards it based on your movements. Okay. Hold your vision, right? That's really what the key is. Because once you lose sight of what's ahead of you and what's before you and what you're trying to do, even if it's just having fun and enjoying and living your life, once you lose sight of your vision, hopefully you guys have started your vision board. And if you haven't yet, start that now or this weekend. Um, create that vision board. Put it up there. Peacock yourself. Set your goals and your plans and your intentions and, and keep that as a reminder to keep moving forward with what you want in your life. It works. It's manifestation. It's it's setting your intentions every day. Look and acknowledging yourself and your goals and your plans. That's what makes you attractive because you're living your best life. Okay. Meditate also and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. If you have a moon in Pisces, this message would be specifically for you. I love the koi fish on this. Meditate and contemplate. Think about, especially I'm, I'm hearing if you've got this vision board you want to do, or if you want to, if you have one and it's time to add things to it over the weekend, think about what you want to add and what you want to do, and what you want to create. Um, all right, now wait, we've got six minutes left and now I'm being called to do a few more cards here. So let's see. Um, what the heck is this deck called? I've had it forever and I can't remember, but I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to remember what the deck is called. Um, it is a somewhat of a Lenormand deck, but I forget who created it. Okay. Um, Malady. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So I feel like this message here, and I'll show you, there's a person here laying in bed. This might be, um, 
coming down sick with maybe a flu or something or a cold or a cough. Um, I feel like this message here is, you know, because he's got like a little steam thing on his bed and he's got like some cough syrup. I feel like if you're ill right now, Virgo, you're not feeling so good. It's okay to stay in bed. Take some time off and rest. Relax. If you're not feeling well, that's part of your self-care. Okay. And if that's coming up for you, definitely like if you start feeling, you know, we're coming in, well, at least where I live into the season where allergies and colds and stuff, um, you know, that kind of thing starts kicking in. Um, that's just a message for you that if you're feeling that way, do everything you can to like take good care of yourself. If you have to take some time off work, like you got to put you first. Okay, let me see what else. Oh, melancholy. Interesting. Some of you might have a melancholic temperament. Um, this is a sense of like feeling down and just a sense of like sadness overcoming you melancholia if you don't know what that is look that up that could be um you might have a tendency towards that sometimes and and if that's the case um really important for you to create that vision board and you know when you have days where you know it could even be hormonal changes or um, it could be like um, low mood or things like that if that tends to happen to you um, it that could have definitely an effect on your physical self which is why you got to be very consistent in keeping yourself pushing forward but even if that means that you can't that might be a sign for you to just take a couple days off like go into hermit mode and just chill and self-care right and I feel like that's a specific message for some of you that might have periods of low mood. Um, you don't have to force yourself. Do your very best to maintain a positive mindset. But sometimes the best thing you can do is just get some chocolate or just put on your video games or just zone out and just let it pass. Just let it pass. Don't think the whole world is coming to an end because when you get in low mood, you'll have a tendency to have negative thinking. And believe it or not, even a bright, beautiful, sunny day with seagulls and butterflies, when you're in a low mood, it's really hard to even appreciate that. So just tell yourself, okay, I'm having this happening or I'm going through this, regulate your emotions, acknowledge them, accept them, and say, I need a little time out so this can pass, so I can just feel, until I feel a little bit better. You're a t I give you all the permission in the world to take care of yourself. Okay, and you have old woman. Interesting. I know I feel that way sometimes. Um, there might be someone in your life um, who's significant or symbolic this time or will be who's much older it could be a mother or a grandmother um, showing up in your life here maybe she's not feeling well maybe maybe there might be a little self-care help that she needs okay and you also have oh these cards are just freaking amazing you have prison <laughs> listen Virgo um, this could be you okay and uh, is it a warning? Not necessarily. I feel like, you know, this could be, you know, you could be 35 and feel like you're 65, you know, with stress and stuff. Um, you know, an older woman or an older man can't move the same way a real young one can. And that might be something for you to acknowledge and accept and say, you know what, this is where I am in my life, you know. Um, this prison card though is very interesting. I don't feel like it's actual prison. It could be, um, maybe there's an older woman that, that is afraid of going to prison or she feels imprisoned. Could be just you feeling this way about yourself, like you're stuck, especially if you have a bit of melancholia. Um, oh, got a wedding here. Hmm. Well, some of you want to marry a prison inmate. I feel that. Uh, there's a wedding. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this. Oh, 
Hold on a second. What the heck? Sorry, hold on a second. Okay. Um, look at this. There's a wedding. You are... At, okay, so somebody either... Look at how exactly the same they look. Either you're going to a wedding in a place that looks like this, or you will be, or you'll be hearing about it, um, or you're getting married in a place like this, and I don't know where that would be. Okay? I do not know where that will be. At first I was feeling like Rome. And I don't know, this feels like it's... This feels separate. And this prison thing, now I have to look into this. What is this prison thing here? Sorrow. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, somebody's sad about a mother getting married. They're like, oh, I'm not happy about this. You're, you're locking and chaining, ball and chain. <laughs> I'm just hearing ball and chain. Sorrow, regret, remorse. There could be somebody that you know, I feel, who's feeling regret and remorse for... It could be self-imposed prisoner energy. Okay. I thought maybe the reading was going to be over, but... Hmm. All right. Okay, so here's what I'm feeling. These are separate, okay? A little bit of both, but somebody is possibly, could be facing jail time for um, theft. That's what I'm just hearing, okay? I don't know who that is. It could be connected to an older woman. It could be you. Make sure that your taxes and all your stuff is on the up and up or whatever you're doing. Um, the positive is I do see a wedding if that's something that you want um, or you need to have in your life whether it's formal or just a sacred union um i feel like some of you are just going to get an invite or you've been invited to a wedding and you're going to be going yeah joyfulness this is like a celebration this is like the three of cups um wedding reception or a party a joy a reunion with friends a circle of support um a wedding party i'm hearing Okay, you know, you guys, I could sit here for two hours and just do these readings. I really could. I could go on and on and on and, and, and intuit these messages, but I think I have to stop because <laughs> we're like already over an hour. So again, you guys, personal reading links, everything that you need. I'm not going to go through every single thing, but everything you need and could possibly want is in the link below my website, Moon Pie Tarot, booking readings, buying cards. Again, new deck, definitely check it out. You could buy it for your kids. It's not it, like it's it's just a fun it's just a fun magic eight ball in card deck form. So if you have any interest in that, go over to my website. And you can check them out. I may even do like um, an answer question kind of thing reading for you guys just for fun, you know, live. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I will be back tomorrow with the rest of your readings and. Uh, yeah, you guys have a fantastic evening. Thanks, everyone, for being in the chat. Thank you, all the moderators, for being here. Thank you, Streamlabs. <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow.